Welcome back to Boy Band Break, where we encourage you to take a break from your day and join us in some boy band conversation. As always, my name's Diane. I'm Chinzia. I'm Sophia. And I'm Lydia, a.k.a. Mama Lou. And we're back! Woo! In the studio. Kind of. In the home studio. In the home together. Studio. We're yes, back together. One day we'll be back in the real studio. <sighs> Baby, come back! Yeah, not anytime soon. Though. Anyways. Anyways, exciting. Do you guys know what today is? Today is movie review day. But even more importantly, as on October 17th, if you listen to this on the day it comes out. It is? It is the birthday of a certain member of NSYNC. Chris from NSYNC, Uh, my lovely high school crush husband, is 50 years old. Yes. Oh, oh happy birthday, birthday to oh. Chris Kirkpatrick. Happy birthday, Chris. Enjoy your day yes. with all the Chris ones you love. So, yes. So, I remember I was always used to be like, Chris is 10 years, 11 months, and 8 days older than me, which was like this math that I did manually. But I think I messed that up. So, I feel like it's slightly off because he's October 17th, 71, and then I'm September 9th, 82. So, whatever. Anyways, it's approximately that amount of time. Um, so yeah, so I'm not focusing on the fact that either of us are getting extremely old. Um, but happy birthday. Um, I think maybe, do we want to go around and say our favorite Chris moments? Sure. You know what? Oh! Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> Lydia, what's <laughs> oh, oh, first? Okay. Okay. Absolutely. Um, I, like with me personally or just in general? Yeah, whatever what you like. General. Have you met Chris? Yes. Yes. I was okay. with you at the Challenge for the Children. Yes. <laughs> and at the Pickering Town Center. Where that you time. Ah, yes. yes. I forgot about that. As well. I would say more Challenge for the Children is kind of like, because Pickering Town Center was like, get in line and please leave. Whereas, whereas that one was like a little bit more intimate. Um, I, I remember Chris wore this sh- camouflage shirt saying like, you can't see me. And I'm like, oh, this is, this is on brand with Chris humor. Yes. And then also I remember... Um, at the hotel that we were staying at, he had this comically large martini glass. Ah, uh, yes. And then in, like, um, the the tabloids, like, the next week, they're like, Chris has gone off the deep end. And I'm like, I was there for that. I know what happened. We, I think we were actually walking by the yes. lobby at that point. We so, were, yeah, that was yes. pretty so funny. That was kind they're of, like, ooh, maybe we're in the tabloid pictures. Yeah, we no, were we not. No. Yeah. Um, and then one more Chris uh, favorite memory. Wow, you have so many. I know. I we just wanted one. Because he's just, he's my, he was my potential brother-in-law. Yes. If someone yes. didn't tweet him when we were at the <laughs> oh, karaoke bar that he frequented during his time of singledom. Yes. I still think you missed shot, but that's okay. Was this when we were in high school? We were in Florida with Gina. With Gina. Gina. And we went, okay, so and we, we were at dance. CeCe's Pizza, and, and I'm just like, that's the bar that he goes to. He's probably going to beat her tonight. Tweet him. And then you're like, no, I can't. Okay, first of all, that was 10 years ago. So that was before a lot of Twitter stuff. No, you didn't even say tweet him. You said message him. I'm like, how? I don't know how to message him. So his mother gave me her email address. Yeah. At Challenge so. for the Children, which I ever never messaged her either because it's you know, whatever. I mean, I also I will blame Hotmail for deleting Aaron Card's email address because that could have been my future. But there you go. But at maybe for Miss that one, it was so good. good. I think so, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think it was so good. Maybe I could have been the one to save him. him. I could have been, you know, like, yes. you know, you know, uh, lasagna and meatballs and, you know, get your ass over here, leave that stuff behind, you know. Stuff. I don't okay, know. Right. I don't know. I'm just, anyways, that's what my, so, uh, Chris, happy birthday. And, uh, I hope you enjoy your day without my sister being your wife. I'm very sorry. Well, his but... wife is nice and they have a really cute kid. Yeah, so... that's true. Doesn't Which help I think my it was situation. his son's birthday recently, too. Doesn't help your situation. <laughs> oh, no. Lydia. Okay, what is your favorite Chris Kirkpatrick okay. moment? Okay, so my favorite Chris Kirkpatrick moment is when we got to spend time with him at the Comic Con. Everything about it, really. He told lots of funny jokes. We went shopping with him. Good times. I think Lydia said so many that one is just <coughs> yeah, for that's me. Sophia's yeah. favorite moment is me crying when I saw him. Yeah. That as well. That is, yes. yes. That's Sophia. why I said the Comic-Con the whole day, the aspect Beautiful. of that, yes. I assume you're talking about the Kentucky one and not yes. the Chicago one. That is yes, correct. That's right. Yes, The Chicago one wasn't. Yes. yes. <coughs> Sorry, I do not have COVID. I just have a dry throat. Okay. Okay. Diane? I, yeah, I don't. I have don't really have a lot of experiences with Chris. Uh, aside from that same Comic Con, I, I would say the best thing from that weekend was well, there was a lot of good moments, 
But the best thing was when he was describing what JC, JC is yes, like. I was yes, gonna, I was yes. gonna say that too. For sure. That was like I said. Far, I was <laughs> literally like crying. What do you say? I okay, was laughing so, so do you hard. Wanna, yeah, oh, do you want? Do you remember yeah. it all? Do you want me to say it? Just add in if you think I'm missing something. Okay. So uh, Chinzia asks Chris, um, "Is JC really as boring as you know we think?" He I is? did not say boring. Okay, I said what did you quiet, say? Quiet, quiet, okay, quiet and calm, like she, sleepy and she sleep. meant boring. Mm, yes. yes. Okay. And then Chris is like, "Let me give you an example, a fictitious yes. scenario. Let me tell you a story of what JC is like." So we would be, you know, at a dance rehearsal or whatever. And um, JC would be late and we'd be like, oh, what the hell? Like, JC's late. Like, oh, you know, whatever. And then he would just come in and we'd be like, oh, what the hell, man? Why are you late? And he's like, oh, don't worry about it. Let's just, like, get to nothing, rehearsal. Nothing, nothing exciting yeah. happened, whatever. And then, you know, we'll be rehearsing. And then, like, the news will be on. And then on the news, it will be like, JC of NSYNC uh, rescues a busload of children uh, from falling into a bridge or something. Or oh, into well, a lake. Or falling into a lake. Like yeah. a crash yeah. into a yeah. lake. Okay. And then he's like, and he, we'd be like, what the hell? He'd be like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's why oh, I was yeah, late. <laughs> and then he's like, I would be like, guys, guess what happened? This fucking bus crashed. And I was just like, I gotta save little Timmy. I gotta save little Timmy. So I'd be like, I opened the door and I jumped in that bus and I pulled the kids up and I'd given him like CPR mouth to mouth and he lived and I was like, I'm the fucking greatest ever. Yeah. So that's yes. the difference between me and JC. Yes. Yes. <laughs> that was very funny. Yes. Yes. I was all um, peed my pants. Yes. Like oh, that was, was the crying. fun. Yes, yes, like oh my god. That's gosh. why I said the whole days. Yes. Um, no, there was as I said, there was a lot of good things, but yes. that was I think the funniest. Yes. 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 Then he was making fun of us for being Canadian. He's like, Do you yes. need me to talk slow? And I'm like, Oh, and then he's like, These Canadians are playing fucking Uno. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. We're also bored for playing Uno and then they Well I got Nick to come over, so that's good. Because Nick agreed to do this thing, but and he had a different management team than Joey, AJ, and who else was there? Chris. <laughs> yes. Yes. The person we're talking about. I know. So because this had been, because this had been whatever, they were just like, whatever. So the Nick's there, and it was like the most awkward party. It's like it was a, ball a ball room. room. It, was a mess. Uh, it was like, they, they came and they like had to put in an appearance because Nick agreed. And Joey's like, so then like, as soon as, so Nick had like walked around and talked to everybody. And then he just like was sitting there about to play Uno with us. And then the other guys came in. He's like, oh, hey. Go see him, and then Nick like booted out, and the other three came in. That was his cue to leave, and they're just like, "What the fuck, guys? Like, none of us wanted to be here, but you guys were promised it, so we don't want it, whatever." And he's like, what, "What's going on? We're in a fucking ballroom." He's like, "The fucking Canadians are playing Uno. I'm like, what are you guys doing?" And we're just like, "I don't know." Oh my but God. it's a good icebreaker. But yeah, so that one was good because, like, obviously it was the first time that we had seen him in years. That I had seen him in years, and uh, we got to sing "Living on a Prayer" to each other. Yes, I did see that. <laughs> Sorry, I just remembered something else that's slightly when we tried not to funnier. Jason Priestley to sing with us. No, 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 okay. no, no. Remember, so he signed autographs for everyone, and uh, did, did you write our names down or whatever? Maybe. Sounds like something they would do. Yeah. But then he still wrote Diana on mine. Yes, and we were like, yes. Ooh, so, so close. close. Yes, and then yes, that's he, true. But he realized as he did it, and then he was like, "Well, that's garbage." <laughs> <laughs> Picks it up and then his like buddy manager guy yeah. was there and he's like, "Hey, do you know anyone named Diana?" And she, he was like, "Yeah, I do." And he's like, "Good, here you go. I'm not even <laughs> signing this." <laughs> Just wrote Diana, uh, did not sign this. Yeah. No. That was fun. Oh, yeah. was good oh, times. Um, yeah. So other good times I would say was when we went to Nashville for the Backstreet oh, Boys. Yes, that so, was also good. We had gone for Backstreet Boys because we had been wanting like pit tickets, but they were super expensive. And this was back in the day when you could just cross the border whenever the hell you wanted to. Oh, remember Which that. is getting closer, guys. Getting it's closer. Not, so anyways, the tickets went cheaper like two days before. So we're like, all right, Jonas Brothers concert, record this episode, hate Ted off to Nashville. That was really dumb. It was, yes. it was a very long day. And specifically, like obviously we want to see our friend Sarah and whatever, but we were on like... Chris will probably be there because he lives in Nashville. That was her whole reason. That was it was not my whole reasoning. Majority of the reason. AJ and Bailey were both doing like a thing at this like this free like mute because that's what you do in Nashville. You just play a few songs in like all the bars and stuff. And I'm like, Chris will probably be there. 
And he was gone. Uh-huh. Shocking. Now he's not the AJ one. He was at the Bailey one, which was on the top floor. So we're like, all right, cool, cool. Like the patio. So I go and I'm trying to be all they cool. All together. Yeah, they were all together. So then he like went in. I'm like, damn it, I didn't go to see him. And then I'm just like keeping an eye on the VIP and then see him go back out onto the patio. And I'm like, all right. Keeping an eye on the VIP. Watching keeping Chris like I was a watching hawk. Chris like a hawk. Yeah. So then whatever. So then I like went out and then uh, he was taking pictures with two other people. Then he's like, hey. And I'm like, hey. And he's like, hey, how's it going? I'm like, do you remember? He's, uh, it's Chinsa. He's like, yeah, I know. From Canada. He's like, you came all the way from Canada for this? And I go, yeah, and I can't remember exactly what it was, but I was impressed that he remembered that I was from Canada. No, he said, you came all the way here for this. And you were like, yeah, from Canada. And he's like, yeah, I know. I know. (laughs) It was just like, oh, excuse me, sir. Whatever. Because then I also, we also worked with, I also worked with him at uh, that terrible Chicago con, which was whatever. But anyways, yes. So then that was fun. And then I got my Chris hug and stuff. And then he like, I didn't see him after. And then she cried when she got back inside. But I wasn't meaning to cry. And I'm like, honest to God, I don't know why it happens. Like, it's I also had a video reaction after that. Yeah. So so. check Facebook. It's there. Anyways, Chris is lovely. He remember he sent me messages on my birthday and stuff like that. So happy birthday to you, Chris. So this is why I always send the message because I'm like, He's, He's going to out. help you out there. Yeah, that's right. Why don't you mention me on our podcast? Oh, no, right, sorry. Great. Yes, well, I mean, that's, you've got to message him. you got to be like, yes, let yes. me in. Yeah. Weren't you mentioning something about JC earlier? Why, yes. Wait, wait, wait. One, okay. one, one okay. other thing. Since we're on an instant sync theme, and we yes. are going to mention something about JC, and that's going to be part of the movie thing. Um, also, Lance Bass had his oh, twins. Oh, yay! So, congrats to Lance and Michael. Yay! And they named so, uh, October very, 13th. Yeah, interesting one so of the, the names. So, the girl's name is Violet Betty, oh, and cute. the boy's name is Alexander McQueen? James. After AJ! It's, I don't think I he From the Backstreet Boys! I don't think he named it after AJ. Oh, well, and now AJ well, okay, well, like Lance's things. name is James Lance Bass, right? So the James would come from Yes, his. Lanston. It's not Lanston. It's Lanston. Come on, guys. That is why you told <laughs> us so yeah. that we would. Yes, yeah. Because yeah. it's, it's really for Jason. Yeah. But yes, yeah, so I'm not really sure. So at this point in time, he has not said that he named the kid after AJ. But well, AJ could just be like, hey, it's like basically my name. Why? No, AJ joked about this like pre. Uh, baby is coming he was like oh yes. you can name it after me blah 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 so i don't know if lance was like thinking of m- naming it that and then kind of just saying like hey i know this is weird but they're like this is what we want to name our kid and that's why aj made that joke maybe um but when all he posted so far as of us recording this is the birth certificates with their little with like their little oh God, i was gonna say oh. paw prints <laughs> No. A little, yeah. Like You're hilarious. Um, what you? uh, so uh, when I saw the Alexander James thing, I was like, "Okay." But you know what? It could be way worse. It's a because great they could have like terrible celebrity kid names. Yes, no, and it's not a bad name. And it's not a bad. It's name. just weird that it's if the exact Alex. name of a Backstreet Boy. Yes. yes. One that he's actually worked with as well. Yeah. Yeah. So, Interesting. Well, they're now close friends. So. Are, are they? Oh, well, they, they kind do. of are. They both live in LA. I mean, does not close friends? No. That's true. I would say so. Oh, they are close yes. friends. They're not close friends. Yeah, I said no, they're close said, friends. Yeah, I thought you said they're I thought not. You said they're not close friends. So no, like, I said they are close friends. Oh, see, I I not. also heard both, and I'm confused. Are they close friends? Yes. Oh. I said, okay. Clarification. The <laughs> they, they are, are close, close friends. friends. Okay. Okay. So yes. they are indeed <laughs> close friends. Yes. Excellent news. This is Excellent. my understanding. Did someone just also have a kid named Lyric recently? Recently? Someone named someone their boy kid boy with the second name Lyric. A celebrity person? Yes. yes. Okay. Oh my god, who was it? In the boy band? Oh, no. No, he hasn't named the kid yet. Aaron's kid is going to be... Oh, 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 that's right. When Aaron's kid is born, allegedly... It's going to be be named... uh, Prince Lyric. Okay. That's great. See, could be worse than Alexander James, right? Yeah. Like, naming somebody Prince is, like, a very... Well, Well, I knew someone in high school named Princess, so... 
Okay. What Princess about... is a really common uh, Filipino, I want to yes, say, name. Yes, she was Filipino. Oh, so yes. okay. Okay. Um, I heard Elon Musk kid was like a symbol. Yes, that one's weird. They're... An Axion. Yeah, yeah. Know. They, so they, they made that legally they had to name the kid something else. Oh, did but... they? Okay. Because they said you can't have name... like a symbol yeah. in the name. Okay, but that's yes. fair. That's but fair. yes, but Lyric is also obviously um, uh, Ashley Parker Angel's son, who is like 16 now, is named Lyric. And, I see. I didn't know that. And... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. 16 years old. Oh my god, Lydia. <laughs> 30 years old. Apparently yeah, he's on like American Follow Horror me. Story or something. Like, oh, really? Like oh. when he was younger. Okay. And then obviously something AJ's daughter's name is Lyric, so... Do yes. you remember the story about how Ashley followed Lou into the urinal? Yes. yes. Okay. We watched that. Okay, excellent. So okay. you're going to follow his son into Wait, I don't have a penis. Okay, <laughs> damn it. So close. What is so happening? Close. Okay, what is now happening? understanding what Lydia's saying. She's saying that in her new fake boy band that she's yes. going to create, she would put Ashley's son in. Sure, sure. That's what she was saying. Yes. That's exactly what I was saying. I have no for idea. legal reasons. That's exactly what I was saying. That's Anyways. not for those reasons, Lydia. We're well off topic. We're just going to pretend. Let's, let's come back to sync. We've come back. Technically, Sleepy it is JC. about... What? Yes. Sleepy JC. So, yes. You know, and we're like, man, where Sleepy the heck JC. has JC been? Mission you know, Sync. Like, he's been... Yes, Mission and Sync. Follow them. because, And they actually had a watch party for this uh, a couple weeks ago. This thing that we're about to talk about is a movie because we reviewed what did we review long shot and we said hey guys what other boy band starring movies do you like and several people mentioned opening night and we're like what the hell is that because we had never heard of it literally had never heard of it and uh yeah so it's a movie guys and we looked it up it is a movie we saw the trailer and we're like we need to watch this what did tell us more about this movie oh so uh yes uh, it is a movie, uh, main, JC is not the main character, but he does play a pretty pre- predominant role. Yes. yes. He's in it a lot. It came out in 2016. Here come the stats from Wikipedia. Yes. I <laughs> paid my $10 donation. <laughs> Fool. <laughs> Usually I do fine. Do the main character's name anything? is Nick. Nick? Yes. yes. So Topher Grace, uh, uh yes. from that 70s show, is it? There's a surprising amount of celebrities. Yes. In yes. yes. So, um, so the brief synopsis on our opening thing. So, opening night, formerly one shot, is an American. It was usually it was supposed to be called one shot. By the way, there's other movies called opening night. If you look on, um, mm. yes, hmm. on IMDb, long but shot, one shot. Do we see anything pattern shots, here? Two shots, four shots. Yes. Okay. Four shot. Shot. Anywho, it's the one from 2016. Is an American musical comedy. Wait, what's from 2016? This the is movie. movie. Opening night. This movie? Yes. yes. I thought it was recent. I no, no, but no. apparently. Well, no. recent ish. More recent than long shot. That's yeah. Chappelle. Okay. Yes. okay. Uh, American musical comedy film directed by Isaac Rents and written by Gary DeLeon and Greg Lissy. The film takes place in a real time backstage on the opening night of a Broadway musical. I'm not going to read it. Uh, the film had its world premiere at the Los Angeles Film Festival June 3rd, 2016, later released June 2nd, 2017. And apparently that's when it got on to... Oh my god. Okay, I'm going to read the plot because it really gives away nothing here. Okay. So. A musical comedy centered on a failed Broadway singer, Topher Grace, turned production manager who must save the show on opening night by wrangling his eccentric cast and crew before they wreak havoc. Yeah, well, yeah. That's, I mean, that's pretty accurate. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's 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 a movie, so it's definitely something. Yes. So, who, Lydia? You have a lot of notes. Does anybody have anything they want to say before we get into? Um. So, this movie. Um. I fell asleep halfway through the first viewing of it. Um. And the second viewing, I almost fell asleep again. So yeah, it probably will not be a good review from me. But just wanted to let you guys know that ahead of time. I would have to say, sorry, so I'm just going to say that most of the time watching this movie was me being like, why do I know that person? And then going to IMDb and looking them up and I'd be like, ah, yes. So that, so there's a lot of like celebrity. I knew pretty much all of them as well. Yes. Yes. Okay. Here's the thing. (laughs) Yes. Okay, good. Um, First half of the movie, 
I was shocked by how much I didn't hate it. I was like, this is weirdly good. Like it was, it was, it was that kind of bad that loops around to being good again. Okay. But oh, okay. So get, bad it's good? Yes. Okay. Like it's so cheesy and so ridiculous that I'm laughing and enjoying myself and therefore it's good. It's kind of like Sharknado bad. Uh, okay. There know? was some funny parts. Yes. And that, but then the second half of the movie takes a turn and I don't want to give anything away, but then it weirdly starts to get serious. And I'm like, no, Mm -hmm. you're ruining it. Like you had a nice, Nice, campy, kitschy, campy thing going here. And now everything's like drama, seriousness, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, and then the ending is absolute garbage. Yes. Mm, Thank you. Absolute trash. Yeah. So, yeah. So, but I guess that's what the movie is technically about. So it it was leading up to, no, it was leading up to the ending. I just wonder. I don't know. That's what I felt like it was leading up to. How do you get funding for this? Leading up to what? The ending was nothing. It's It's trash. Okay. I don't want to give it away. That's why. Let's start going through it. Okay. So like my notes look kind of like, uh, like, I don't know, but uh, like yeah, yeah, like our little shot. Okay, yeah. so yeah. is that so? Like, I'll mention yes, some things. Yes, you if go, I'm... and then we'll okay. interrupt if there's something that we want to. Okay, um, so our story begins in New York City. Um, it follows that '70s show guy. I forgot his name. Topher Grace. And then Kenny's like, "Oh, it's Eddie Brock," and I'm like, "Oh my god!" Like we all Who think the hell is Eddie Brock from Spider Man? Mm. He's Venom. Mm-mm. Really? That's like, not what I ever think of him. I yeah. always think, think of him shows as. Too. Eric Foreman. Eric Foreman. Yeah, yeah, same. And then and then Kenny just kept saying, You're trash, Brock. Throughout the entire movie. I'm like, Kenny, I'm trying to watch this for research. He's like, You're trash, Brock. Because apparently that's what Spider Man says to him. Mm. Because mm. Brock is like that's that mean nice. guy. He's the bully. And then he's also in that movie, uh Oh, Win a Date with, with Tad, Tad Hamilton. Hamilton. Yes. yes. And I always think of him from that. Yeah, that's yeah. true. And then he makes that weird cameo in the Oceans movies. Mm. But he's playing himself. Yes. Which is weird. Even even JC playing himself was very oh, odd. So we're not there. Yet. Okay, we're not okay. there. I'm sorry. Yes. I'm sorry. Okay. And he All was right. kind of a dick. I would just like to say that I did not hate this movie. But you never, hate, you never, never hated any movie movies. that we watched with boy banders. I didn't hate the first half. That's okay. what I said. I, I just, thought the first half could. I was like, this movie could actually be cute. Then they ruined it. All right. I also had a bit of a headache watching this movie. So I may have like a little bit of a negative thing because i'm just like when is this gonna be over but then near the end i'm just like eh, it's okay i don't know it's just yeah but mm, ah, okay let's keep going all right um so it's very colorful i'm gonna say so we are backstage at a show that okay, so starts oh, off wait. that he's in his apartment and then he throws out this playbill and we're like oh obviously there was he a lot of foreshadowing Oh, and I'll know what uh, you know what i'll tell you this movie is better than because then someone made us watch it after that stupid prom movie, which by the way is prom. super long. What stupid prom movie? The one it has it like James out, Corden. Like, earlier it's about this year. The, the lesbian kid who wants to have prom, and then they, What's they it cancel called? prom. It's, it's called, called prom. prom. Oh, okay. Oh, and it has like Nicole Kidman, and it has Meryl Streep, and it has James Corden. And it's awful. Worse than this. Worse than a thousand. It's honestly because it was two hours. It was a little long. Okay, again, yeah, very tired, but trust me, it's worse. Mm, okay, all right, but it also has a lot of sparkles and stuff. So yeah, but anyways, so so anyways, the semi show guy was an so, ex Broadway man. Yeah, so you see him throw away this playbill, which we're like, oh, obviously this, guy. and then he has one of those like stupid like picture things with this girl. Photo like, booth strip. The photo booth. Yes, so I wrote like, the notes. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. So I'm like, obviously he was in this play, and this was his girlfriend who's no longer with him. And but I'm did like, he I am predicting they'll like, get together at the end. He came in like brushing his teeth, no? Yeah, probably. Okay. It was just very like... He was getting ready and he throws this, throws this thing out and then like runs out. And it's, the confusing part is it's dark. It's nighttime. It's nighttime. It's dark at night. Because it's a what time show, is this play right? at? And it's not a matinee. And we have to be there before to get stuff ready. And Realistically, stuff. yes. Plays Realistically. start like evening eight. performances. Yeah, like seven or eight. But why is it so... I guess New York. It gets Anyways. dark at like five o'clock now. Okay. 
Anyways, he just seems depressed. He's a very, very well, forlorn man. Okay. okay. It says, yeah, go ahead. Oh, no, 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 also, no, no. isn't it clear at the beginning that he's running late? So he's pro- possibly like running in, like, if it starts at 8, he's running in at like 7 30. Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. I guess yeah. he could have been there earlier, went home to mope and then come back. I guess. I don't know. Maybe he went, what, took a shower. Like, this is all very realistic. He's and wearing this. Yes, he has things. a hoodie. That's his ensemble. Yes. Okay. Let's continue. Okay. Uh, okay, so now he's backstage at the show that JC is performing at. And then I wrote, everyone is insane. There is <laughs> a drug man and a marmoset death. Mm-hmm. Uh, a marmoset death. The, the uh, emotional Oh, guy. my God. The stupid, the, the animal. He's like, Mammy's dead. And he's and like, then the guy so, and the then grandma. all the gays are there. And then he's like, I'm sorry that your grandmother is dead. My grandmother is <laughs> dead. <laughs> Mammy and now grandma. He's like, what the fuck is Mammy? And they're like, oh, it's my mar- marmoset, whatever. And he's like, oh, I'm sure she was great. Oh, it was he? Okay, yes, blah, blah, blah. It's just so, mental. And then, so, like, what's happening is he arrives, and they're yeah. like, you're late. And then you just see him, like, running from room to room, going through, like, all of the cast and crew or whatever of this thing, and then being like, you need to do this. Then he runs to the next room. You need to do this. And then he talks to the, like, you know. Yeah. So he's just going through, and they're basically introducing all the characters to yes. you. Right, exactly. Yeah. I've been thinking of that part. Well, I think you missed a couple of things. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> so, um, in the beginning, there was uh, they meet the the girl and the guy, and then the one guy is asking the girl, "How many times have you slept with oh, Nick? Oh, yes. Have you done it with Nick?" And then the girl answers, "I don't know, three or four." Three guy or four left. times a week. Yes. yes. Um, so it's his ex girlfriends, the girlfriend, yes, the blonde lady, and Chloe, then I think Chloe. Yes. Name. Okay. Is, is that was Chloe? That Tay yes. Diggs, the other guy. Tay yes. Diggs is the other guy. His name mm-hmm. is like something Malcolm. with him. Malcolm. They, they so Malcolm is like, I guess Nick's best friend or whatever. They have whatever. a lot of hearts, heart to hearts in this. So yeah, yes. yes. Okay. So he's there, and then she's like, "Oh, we would only sleep together three or four times a week." And he's like, "That's it." Blah blah blah. And they're just like, "Oh, ha ha ha." Because I think they had been broken up about a year at this point. Yes. yes. So yes. You only entered and this woman three or four times a week? Yeah. Or she yeah. only entered me three or four times a week. That was good. Yeah. Like self-deprecating. This is the kind of cheesy jokes that, like, at first you're like, what the fuck? But then after a while, just start becoming funny. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And then uh, the guy and the girl sing to Nick. And oh, then yes. this he part, I, I think this one is hilarious because I also break into song and that's hilarious. So I wrote, laugh my ass off at him asking, don't you think it's really cheesy when people randomly break into song? It's fucking corny. They obviously don't because they start singing again and he walks away. That yeah, part made me laugh. Yeah, yes. Yes. And then I was like, who does this in real life? I'm like, all right, we do this we do. in real life. Yes. yes. So we break into song a lot. So yes. I guess we live in a musical, guys. And yeah. then I wrote, we meet some of the weird people in this Broadway show. Yeah, there is, and then there's the guys like, I can't play the bass without weed. Yes, I have that yeah. part too. Yes, that oh was funny God. as well. So yeah, so he's trying to find weed for this guy. So I'm like, okay, whatever. Um, we also meet the assistant, Alex, who is the AHA girl, if you see those commercials. No one what? knows what the that AHA is. Girl. You know that weird carbonated beverage? Uh-huh. Lydia doesn't really I watch TV. I don't have television. I can't afford television. She's in something else, so too. I looked something up. else, too. So <laughs> she's, oh my god, I can't remember what she was in. But yeah, I looked it up yesterday. I'm like, I know her other than this AHA uh-huh commercial. But um, she has a weird face. I don't know. She does yeah. kind of have a weird face. Like a, like yeah. a weird, nerdy face. Mm-hmm. Yes. Which is fine. And it's a lot of voice acting as well. Mm. Anyways, it has nothing to do with anything. Good. Continue. 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 Okay, I feel like your notes are better than my notes because my notes no, are better. No, I like... just added a little bit more yes. detail. That's all. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. 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 Um, and then I, I... Blended. She plays <laughs> She plays the babysitter in Blended. Ah. That Adam Sandler Drew Barrymore movie that nobody watched. Yes, because I do not recall this I don't movie at all. <laughs> Anyways, yes. that's the one where they went to like a safari. They went to Africa, yes. Oh, okay. Uh, cool. Okay. Yes. okay. Yes. Anyways, continue. Okay, and then... Uh, Thank you, Chinzia. <laughs> Thank you for showing me that picture of a person that I already knew. Who okay, like. continue on with your. <laughs> okay, and then I wrote, uh, "We meet JC doing vocal warm ups with girls." Uh, vocal warm ups. Yes. Guys. Nick asks. JC is very horny in this movie. Yes. It's... Which is weird. Yeah, he's kind of a dick in this movie, and I'm just like, okay. Yeah, it's so obviously he plays a stylized version of himself. I'm like, or is this just actually himself? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. You're yeah, like, ooh, like something to think about. It out. Um, and JC ends up making two in sync jokes. Which oh my god, god, those are funny! Yeah, those are way funny. more than two. No, just now, right oh, now. Oh, just yeah, now. Just yeah. when we introduce, yes. you guys have the jokes. You can yes. go ahead. And this is what I mean. Like, I don't 
don't know. People would be like, uh, but I live for that shit. Yeah. Well, the thing is, funny. If it was delivered differently, I think it would have been funnier because his first joke was all the the chorus girls. He's like, you know, we got practice because we got to be in sync. Yes. But instead of looking at the camera, he looks at the 70s show guy. He's like, do you get it? And you're just like, oh. He's like, no. He's like, this, yes, yeah, I get it. Oh Every time you make this joke, I get it. <laughs> I it's know. still funny. It is. And then he's like, and insinuating then JT is gay. And then I was oh, like. Oh, <laughs> my God. That was hilarious. <laughs> I'm so and then one. so no he's saying to Topher Grace he's like you know Nick. like you know Nick whatever so he's like you know things happen and you know I was I was in a oh, band with a guy the band. so he's yeah. trying to imply that Topher Grace is gay and he's like you know there was a guy you know I'm not gonna say his name and then he's like it was Lance it Bass was, we and he's like how do you know and he's like yeah I know, and I'm not gay, so that's K. Okay. Cool, thanks, JC. And he's just like, you sound just like Lance. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then there was like this like agent guy who was like trying to like fluff everyone's balls. He, I think, Wait, which was, one are you talking he's about? The director, owner, right? Was he? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He like, was the funniest. Mister Griffin. I don't know. I'll start with the G. I initially thought. He was the guy in the beginning of um, Bridesmaids. I realized that's John Hamm, so it's not him. His okay. name. But he looks similar no, to him. No, this guy's in a million things, and he's so funny, and he always plays the His same. His name like... is Rob Riggle. Yes. He's yes. Mr. Goldmeyer. Not oh, Goldmeyer. Yes. He's so funny, he's and he always funny. plays like he was a in similar the hangover. type of character, yes, where he's, he's just like crazy and yelling at people. Yeah. It's so funny. Mm-hmm. Kind of yes. like, think like a stockbroker type kind of like you know Wall look Street up guy. rob riggle and you'll see his face and you'll recognize him from like a million things yes, he's so he's funny a whole bunch he's of really and, then, and then he's just like he's like you know trying to like not meta- metaphorically fluff fluff jc's balls and then jc's like oh if you're gonna pick anyone it's gonna be me you're like oh doesn't he oh, he wrote, he wrote, oh i wrote i wrote i got that okay you got it no one's a living god but if there's gonna be one jc says it's gonna be me yeah right. yeah and it's like eh. just like oh i'm just getting that was pretty funny i was like okay yeah. this is good mr goldstein whatever guy is like oh Oh hey, JC, you long dick bastard! Yeah, yes! <laughs> yes, 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 I know. It's like what? There's lots of jokes about JC having a big penis. I was like, yeah. Yeah. And I was like, did JC write this play? Like. <laughs> That part probably, you know, like I probably yeah, I would have like written if I was like Lydia, you big titted slut, like, you know what I mean? like, I'm just like what? It's weird. Um, and then like okay, so then they they after he fluffed the balls and they closed the door and then he just like. Um, the JC is a glorified backup singer. And I'm like, yeah. ooh! That was a bad, that was that a good was, That was good. The, the manager Gold, guy, Mr. Gold, oh, okay. Meyer. Because that's the first time you see him, right? So he comes up and then he's talking to JC and talking about like, oh, he's amazing and blah, 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 yes. you know, all this stuff. And then JC shuts the door. Yeah. And then we find out I what he, how Nick he really says feels. something to him like, do you really like whatever? And he's like, of course not. The guy's like a glorified backup singer. And yeah. Then, yeah. yeah. <laughs> And then we then we go to um I think I think that is that one man is that, I think they go to Brook Brook yeah yeah, and yeah. yeah okay go, yes. go ahead yes. tell tell the lot because I didn't write it I that. put I just put uh, we go to Brook and hey she's an old star he's like telling her oh you're amazing blah 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 she's like I look old or whatever you need more makeup or something and he's yeah. like you're telling me I look old and she's being all dramatic and stuff it took me a while to realize it was Anne Hayes I was like midway through the movie I'm like that's Anne Hayes isn't it it was Anne Hayes. Uh, she was married to Ellen Again. DeGeneres briefly. Remember back in the day, she was no. on Ally McBeal. She's as well. not a lesbian anymore. She has a. She you was also. On, she was on Dancing with the Stars. I, I think oh. she, she said has, she was she's bisexual. With, yeah, that makes oh, sense. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. But like back in the day, before Ellen got together with Portia de Rossi, she was with Anne Hayes. And was uh, like, did they get married? I can't remember. I don't um, remember. But when Ellen came out, she came out and she was with Anne Hayes. Uh, and I don't remember if they were like got married or what the deal was but they were together for like a, a good amount of years i think it was like almost at least 10 four. years and then they broke years. up and then Anne Hayes was like i'm not actually a lesbian i'm bisexual or whatever and then yeah. ellen went with portia and then Anne Hayes created a kid she created like with, I don't, with like a man trash cans oh okay with her husband she, she had a husband yeah. or something I, was she she on? was on Dancing with Stars when AJ was on possibly yes she was she was in I a relationship so. with Ellen for three and a half years oh I think it was longer and the stigma attached to that relationship was so bad I was fired from my multi-million dollar picture deal Ooh. and did not work in a studio picture for ten years Jesus. oh that's how it was yeah. I thought it was ten years so yeah, it was a lot. There was a lot of weird tabloid shit. Like apparently at one point, I remember a tabloid, she was like in the middle of a desert and like high or something and ended up going to somebody's house. 
her, their car broke down or what? something. It was like a really weird tabloid. I'm like, what the hell am I reading? But anyways, yes. So it was a lot of public scrutiny because obviously being out when Ellen came out was not like... It was not the norm. No. Like, now it's just like, I'm gay. And you're like, great job. But like back then, it's like, you're gay. Yeah. Oh, it was like God. frowned upon. Yeah, it was thing. really... Yeah, it was, was that the 90s, 2000s? Where was that? Yeah, Around I would the 90s, say 90s. Late yeah, 90s. like, you know, 90s was... The, the fashion was fun. Things yeah. we were starting to be more accepting, so yeah. I think that's why people started coming out, yeah. like Ellen and whatever, even yeah. Lance. Yeah. But like... Um, New kid. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it like it was starting, but yeah. we definitely were not there. Whereas now no. it's just like, oh yeah, and there's, now there's BuzzFeed articles. Like, yeah, these people came out this year, and it was here's a list of 21 celebrities. And you're just like, well, not gay. You're like, that's great. You're like, all right, cool, whatever. And then, like, but now there's like more things. There's, you know, there's Pan, there's, uh, you know, all this other stuff, non binary, like lots, lots of different stuff. If anything, it's good because it's more liberating. People can be themselves and not yes. be like, you know, like tabloid. Like, like even like the Britney thing, like, now it's mental health talked about it's accepted yes. back then things were very odd so you know what someone this, reminded yeah. me about the other day what? how like every time a celebrity was like having some mental health crisis or like going into rehab or whatever and they were hospitalized they'd always say it was because of dehydration and oh, exhaustion yes. remember that was like a huge yes. thing and like every time a celebrity like had to be whatever they were like oh they were just dehydrated and, and we exhausted. all knew mm-hmm. that that what was that, a lie that was cold yes. for it. Yeah. yeah yeah and we're i'm just like wow nobody does that anymore it's true california yeah. is just so hot yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot, i agree yeah well i'm yeah. glad i'm glad that nowadays we're we can actually openly honestly talk about stuff right because yes. like you know in north america at least you know uh, other yeah, countries yeah, not yeah, 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 yeah. but yeah anyways let us continue um my next point is uh the fuck palace so sorry should have said uh viewer discretion advice um okay so this let me give you some context for this so the the main girl this is very confusing it's Chloe, so confusing right? yeah, I so nick's so. ex-girlfriend yes She's, Who, which I was like, why does she look familiar? And it really bothered me. Yeah. Uh, she was on Veronica Mars. She played Meg. Ah. Meg was the one who had the crazy Christian parents and then ended up getting pregnant with Ver- Veronica's ex-boyfriend. And then she was in a coma because of the bus thing. Anyways, there was a whole... Jesus! Other- okay, <laughs> yeah, this so, was busy. But anyways, that's why I'm like, she looks so familiar. I'm like, Meg. Yeah, go. you're going to be... Yeah, you're going to have to want to have your Wikipedia page. I literally mm-hmm. IMDB'd. I'm like, who is this person? I'm like, ah, oh, yes. It's true. It's true, yes. though, because there's so many people. I'm just like, how did they manage to get all these people in mm-hmm. one room? This is insane. And yet the movie's not that great. Anyways. I know, I know, yeah. yeah. So anyways, so for, for the fuck plat- Pattis, um so the main character woman is talking to some guy and and i guess he's she's giving him tips on how to pick up women because he's yes. been single for a long time so he's like but you don't know this you don't know this at the time when you see them talking yeah he's like i'm gonna need a broom because i'm gonna sweep you off your feet and then she's like oh yeah where are you sweeping me to he's like the fuck palace and she's like no 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 that's terrible you got to work on that or something like that What's yeah that? she goes she yeah. goes What's the fuck palace? And he's like, my apartment. Oh, yes, that yes. guy, yeah. the nerd guy. Yeah, yeah. The he's the guy. He ends up being the doctor. Ah, uh, yes. Or the medic, or whatever. Oh, yes, right. Yes, yeah. Do you have anything? No. Nope. Okay, so that. Oh, sorry. There's also a subplot where Chloe had sex with somebody the night before, and nobody will tell Nick who it was. So he, so he spends a lot of time trying to figure out who this person was, even though they've been broken up for some time. Yes. I did write uh, JC sings one hit wonders and sings about the 80s and 90s in this show. Well, then the play starts. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Is sorry. That... No, I'm not thinking okay. Sorry. Because, um, like, during this time, she was wearing, like, a wig and he's yes. like, I'm attracted to gangster Mozart. Mm-hmm. That was a weird line. And then there was a no strings attached joke. Yes. Yes, yes. from JC, obviously. Yes. And he just doesn't, he doesn't, he should look at you and say it. He but you don't want, to, want him to break wall. the fourth wall. He already he... broke the fourth wall by being himself. And here's the thing, though. Like, listen, JC has a lot of good qualities, okay? Many skills, many, many talents. What are they? Many Singing? Skills. Dancing? He's very good okay. at singing. Okay, okay. You all know, right. All right. producing music. <laughs> You're like, I forgot. <laughs> you forgot. Uh, writing was. music. Like, all kinds. Like, he's he's good-looking oh, man. He's the best you know? man. Um, ish. Okay. Not my type, but you know, um, not right people now. Like him. Good looking. Um, back then, yes. But I don't know if comedic 
delivery I'm, and timing is his comedic forte. timing is hard to get though but i feel like he's it's not hard. in a lot of things like mm. i feel like i heard jc talk more in this movie than i did the entire time in sync was agreed like, yes that's a good. thing right yeah so, that's true but I, I mean, yeah. And so you're like, oh, is JC funny? Because, you know, I mean, he was in a band with, like, Chris and Joey who were, like, uh, uh, over the top. Uh, 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 yes. You know. Dramatic. Yeah. And then even Justin's a little more, like, uh, you know, yeah. joking around. And yeah. then I just feel like him and Lance were, like, the shy ones in the background. Yeah, mm. I can see that. Yeah. I can see that. Yeah. Sure. I guess Are perhaps I am I'm forgetting like about what. Right. You know oh, what? Because, okay. yeah, I think because he's so quiet. It's like you kind of underestimate and you forget what he does, right? Right. That's yes. True. That's yeah. a good point. But yeah. I just don't know if comedy is his real strength. I thought he was a dancer at one point, too. Like yeah, a really yeah, 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 yeah. He's a good yeah. dancer. He's a very good music producer. Mm-hmm. He writes things. Some things good. Some things like Space Cowboy, which... But don't you like that song? I like no Space digital like an album. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All day long. That's that's the song that, that I sense. think of him. And I'm so like, maybe JC's no. just a very sexy guy, and we just never noticed. And he's very into sex all the time. I mean, because he definitely is in this movie. Yes. yes. So yes, penis man over here. Okay, so then I have one hit. Wonderland song. So yes, can yes, I basically wrote JC sings one hit wonders and then goes through like the different eras, the eighties, the nineties, two thousand. Yeah, so this entire play whatever. is about one hit wonders. Yes. Yeah. The play that's within the movie. Yes. yes. Correct. And he plays a character called Baz something. Yeah, Baz. Baz. That was a weird. This name. is it. So he has a one hit wonder song called. I'm going to sex you up. gently? Yeah, sex, I'm going to sex, sex me gently or sex you gently. Sex or you up or something? I don't know. Uh, I, th- gen- I thought gently it was, is definitely I'm going to sex, sex you gently. Sex oh, you I gently. thought it was sex yeah. you Okay, gently yeah. sounds... Sex you gently. Like yeah, yes, yes, that is the song. So, anyway, so... Um, yeah, so it's just them going through these times. So, yes. does the lady get hit yet? Or? Not yet. No, no. Okay. Um, okay, so we have that he did the one hit one land song. And yes, he also has a saxophone solo, which yes. was surprising. Um, Unclear if he's actually playing it or probably if it's, not. you know. Yeah. The music pit downstairs with the guy, the bass player who is needs trying drugs. to get high the like, entire the movie. The entire movie. Yeah. 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 Um, and then oh, it comes, we come back to backstage where that 70s show man and his. his Black Malcolm. friend are talking. Yeah, so Nick and Malcolm are talking, and then um, so that's when we find out JC stole Nick's girl, which is Chloe. Yes, because because yes. he gave him a penis compliment, and then they find out because he's like, "You got a nice dick," and he's like, "Thank you." Yes, yeah, it was it was kind of like a weird moment. And then like Malcolm says girl. to Nick, "Oh, this is a fun one. I figured her to be a Backstreet Girl because JC yes. stole the girl." Yeah, yeah. but Doesn't how he, did he find out that he she finds stole- out at the no strings attached part because he so oh so okay. Nick is complimenting Chloe and this is when he says the thing about like oh I'm weirdly attracted to gangster Mozart, Mozart. yes um and then this is when JC comes by and he's all like oh I had a great time last night you know anytime you want to like whatever I'll you know no strings attached yes. <laughs> and yes. tells her like don't be clingy now and yeah. like blah 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 and then it's at this point that then he realizes. Chloe and Nick are just staring at each other because now he realizes that she slept with JC. Mm-hmm. And then he's like, you slept with JC? And she was like, I was really drunk. Blah, blah, blah. Yes. Mm-hmm. And so then after this scene is over and they all get off stage and they're doing something else, then Nick goes with Malcolm to the thing and tells him that JC is the one that Chloe slept with. And he's like, what the hell? And then JC is feeling sad. JC, Nick is feeling sad. And then they cheer him up with this weird dance. Break dancing. Break dancing. Oh, is that where they steal his uh, walkie talkie? Yes. Yes. There's a penis compliment and then break dancing. Oh, did that Malcolm sings, bust a move to Nick, and then everyone joins in. Yes, Yes. exactly. Smooth. Um, Did the dancer come yet? Yes, he's already there. Oh, the gay dancer. That's funny. Bisexual bisexual Latino dancer. So then him and Big Titty Girl. Have a competition. Have a competition of who can sleep with this new dancer. Yes. Mm, yes. I also, oh, because Malcolm slept with her boyfriend. The yes. Boyfriend. Yes. So she's mad so at she's him. mad at him. Yeah, because they said, okay, like, he, he grabs his balls and he's like, do you want to light this candle or something, like, really cheesy. Yes. Yeah, very sexually charged movie, but not in, like, a sexy way, in, like, a whoa yeah. kind of way. It's kind of weird. Like, knees flattered. Again, very cheesy. Super cheesy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so then at this point, uh, Brooke gets knocked out by a chopstick. 
Yes. Is that what you have? I put, yeah. Broke Giant. Love, stage hand, hit her with a chopstick. And he's Understudy like a has to guy. take over, which is close. And he's been in other movies as well, which I can't remember, but he's whatever. He's yeah, like he, a nerdy yeah. props guy. Yeah. And yeah, oversized chopstick. And then she, that emotional guy was like, oh my god, is she dead? Yes. yes, yes exactly. Another person's dead. We're like, no one else's dead. And <laughs> yeah. <just> like, <laughs> she's like, everybody go do your things, whatever. And then she won't get up. And then the doctor comes and then. Yeah, so uh, the, essentially the understudy, which is Chloe. Chloe. So there's all these people in the hallway, and then it just like parts, and it's like, you know, the understudy, go get your stuff on. Exactly, yeah. And then, um, so then from that point. Um, and then Nick's kind of mean to her, and, like, and is yeah. like, like, you're not that great. And she's like, oh, great. Thanks for sharing so, that information yeah. with me. <laughs> I know that seemed like a really long introduction, but that's really like the first half of the movie. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so. Up to this point, like I said, I'm not hating it. I feel like from this point on, the movie starts getting significantly shittier. Mm. Cause then, so then, like I said, because life lessons start coming in. Mm, right. Like, uh... There starts being consequences to all these weird things that are going on. Right. Yeah, so exactly. like, whatever she goes on, and then Nick goes to check on the concussion lady, and. Oh, there's Am I a, missing something? Wait, hold on. Uh, I have, I have, um, uh, I have a quote that says, "There's a gay man in all of us." Did anyone? I don't, I don't have that, that part. part. Okay. No. And I then also, that being said, but I can't and then there's like, what? Do you have some sort of underground gay intel network about the dancer? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Because this is when the two people are trying to fight mm-hmm. for his love. Yes. And then um, I have Mambo Number no. Five cringe. Oh. That was JC was doing Mama Because oh, yes. he's like, make sure she makes it to my change room. At oh, yeah. Oh, because she does Nick. a good job. Singing well, a song. Well, out. first of all, it's really oh, fucking awkward because yeah. she doesn't talk yeah. at all. Yeah. It's just like. She's first, like shocked. It's like stage fright. Oh, yes. stage fright. Because the guy was like, you know, like, you're going to fuck up. Yeah, like, that's why. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, was, sorry. yeah, yeah. Okay. Because he was like mean to her, like, yeah. saying like, oh, you're not he's that great. He's pushing his own insecurities out of her. Because he apparently, when he was in Broadway, his opening night, after opening night, his show got canceled. I didn't realize that could actually happen. Yes. Because, like, yes. after a production, like, all that stuff, you can still cancel it. Which is surprising me because point? we're putting out that other movie, Prom, that also got canceled after opening night. And I'm just like, but people have tickets for other no, days. No, so, so here's what happens. Okay, it's okay. similar to a TV pilot. Oh. So they'll book it for, like, X amount of time, two weeks, three weeks, whatever, even a month. But if after the opening night it's shit and nobody likes it, they don't extend it, right? Oh. So, like, a TV show, for example, they'll air the first show, uh-huh. yes. right? Because they'll they'll order, like, whatever, two, three, five episodes. Yeah. Probably two, not two. Like, three to five, okay. I would okay. guess. And then if the pilot airs and nobody watches it and it's shit, it doesn't get renewed. So they'll still show the other, like, three to five episodes that they have. Oh. But then that's it. Then it's canceled. Oh. So it gets canceled after the first thing, but they still have, you know. So they still fulfill. perform the other. Yeah. Okay. But okay. but it's just crap. And, no, like, no it, I would guess for a play, if the reviews from the first night are shit, then the tickets don't sell. Nobody shows up. Right. You know. Yeah, That exactly. kind of thing. They okay. do their two weeks or whatever, and then it's over. Okay. 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 That kind of. Oh, okay. That was like, I'm like, why would you cancel after opening night? This is like the stupidest thing ever because, like, literally, all these people are here, all the costumes are done, might as well just, mm-hmm. yeah, you exactly. know, You've done all take the pony up to pasture. Right? But if yeah. you keep doing it, like, those people have to get paid yeah, too, right? True. right? So, if you Absolutely. keep doing it and no one's showing up, you're losing money. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. You all know right. what I mean? Yeah. All right, thank you. Um, okay, so then. Um, oh, we, we have a, so back, back to the play, JC is back on stage and he's doing his virginity scene of where he wrote Sex You Gently to his high school sweetheart. Who was just his friend. It's flashback. She said that she was going to, oh yeah, so sorry. So Chloe is playing the ghost of one one, one, one one of his wonders past or whatever. She she takes him to his bedroom back then and she, the girl had a really high pitch annoying voice, the Mm -hmm. one who was on the bed. She's like, oh, I'm going to go sleep with so-and-so. And he's like, no, you can't. And then he starts, like, playing this song. Yeah. And he just spontaneously writes about him wanting to sex her gently. And she's like, you're so romantic, Baz, or whatever. It's weird. Yeah, yeah that was just weird. a little bit odd. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so she, she must have sung that song then. 
before this point. Yes. Yes. Okay. So she did a good job after 30 yeah. seconds of being scared. And I was just saying, yeah, it was like so awkward. I was like starting to get like chest pains. I'm like, please start saying something, anything. I'm like, line, like, why is no one doing and anything? And then Mr. Goldberg's like, come back. <laughs> yeah. 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 So and then that seemed to like jump her up. Yeah. And like, yes, yeah, started singing. Yeah. yeah. It was good. It was yeah, good. Yeah, so that was good. She did good. Because like at one point, you're like, oh, are they going to like reconcile like her and, and 70s showman? And then, but then, like, she does so well at this that, like, JC's like, hey, you did a really good job. Yes. Yes. Come see me at intermission. So no, even he, though... I don't think he even asked her at that point. He told him to make sure yeah. that she yes. was there. So earlier, but he's like, like, don't be so clingy, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And then after she sings, then he's like, oh, This yeah, changes everything. We need to rehearse. Yeah. 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 Sure she's there for intermission. And yeah. He's like, and he's like how, many so, how many intermissions does this show have? I had the one 15-minute one, but... I have a lot of concerns about timing and I was getting very angry about she the timing was. of things. And I was like, how is there enough time? Like, what's happening? What are you doing? And it's just like, anyways, continue on. Okay. Um, okay. So then uh, it, uh, am I missing anything up to this point? Uh, no, I just I put JC give a compliment to the girl, Chloe. And then Nick did too. JC sings and dances with five girls. Oh, yes. yes. Okay. There's a lot of, like, bending them over yes. and pretending, like, pretending to, like, to take them, them from yeah. behind. Yeah. Yeah. Making, like, weird-ass, like, innuendos that are yes. very clear. And you're just like, And okay, then after yeah. that performance, Nick's like, I hate Broadway. Yeah. And then uh, Brooke um, <laughs> is now accidentally on ecstasy. Oh, yes. This is where has... the movie really jumps the shark. Yeah. Yes. So she has a headache, and she's like, I need some aspirin. She has a concussion. Concussion. Yes. Yeah, sorry. So she has, she's like, oh, my head hurts so bad. And he's like, oh, the doctor guy has this bottle of aspirin in his, his pocket. Okay. Let me, so he gives her two, and then she kind of, like, passes out. Then he runs into doctor guy. He's like, oh, don't worry. I gave her aspirin from your pocket. <gasps> no. What? What is How many? Just two. Two. Oh, oh my <laughs> God. So it goes, and he's like, that was ecstasy. And then, like, she gives, he gives her water, and, and it's then, not really going in his like, mouth. Yeah. Yes. And, and he gets, like, nerdy, weird guy got fired at this point before. Uh, he got fired right away for hitting with the chopstick, yes. right? Yes. 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 Mr. But Gold then as he's leaving. With his box of things, because apparently he's in an office. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. And he's like, quick, you watch her, because I have shit to do. And he's oh like, but I'm fired. He's like, that's fine. I'll rehire you after, <laughs> after this. this. Okay. <laughs> However, Brooke... Uh, then escapes. Oh my god, that's so funny. I'm sorry, I was yeah, dying. Yeah, yeah. I'm what, do you, what note do you have? I either put Brooke is losing her mind, Brooke ran away. She LOL. feels great. <laughs> she feels fabulous. Yes, so well, she's, she's on ecstasy. Yes, uh, and then she's like finds a cage, and yes. this is the cage to the, go up. The elevator up cage. So the cage. Then, okay, when it starts out and she wakes up and she's on these drugs, oh, right? Yeah. At first, it's kind of funny, like you know, it's the classic like people <laughs> on ecstasy in TV <laughs> and movies, like oh, everything's amazing. Oh my leg, oh my this, oh whatever, I feel right? Great, yeah. you know. And then yeah, so and. The second that the Nick guy says to the other guy, just don't let her leave this room, you know she's, she's going to get out of the room. Yes. yes. Yeah. Right? So I'm expecting, just based on this, how this movie has gone up to this point. And she's going to run on stage. That, yeah. Right. She's going to run on stage. It's going to be a lot of crazy hijinks of them yes. like, trying to get her back to the room. Yes. Mm. Instead, it's just like, One not, to, not to take your no, whatever. No, 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 no. But like, yeah, it's just one thing where like they can't find her, and then they find He's checked everywhere. They find her trying to get onto the stage, and so then the Nick guy's like fighting with her to get out of this like elevator thing that's gonna that bring this her up Elvis to the stage. guy is supposed to no Ricky Martin, I think he was supposed to be Ricky Martin or something. This guy. I don't know. So this guy was supposed to go on stage, so she like got in the cage, and then yeah. he was like, okay, and he like finally got her out by like. But it almost seemed like she out. pushed him into yes. the cage. But then he ends up in the cage, the Nick guy, <laughs> and then and she, she closes it and pushes the button. So he go and he's like, push the button, stop, 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 and then. Yeah. He's on stage, and again, moment for like something funny to happen where he's like, ah, da, 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 yeah. like whatever. I thought he for sure was gonna start singing and dancing. Yeah, yeah. instead it's he's just, just painfully like, awkward. Yeah, and yeah. he's just staring at the audience, and then everyone else stops singing, and we're just like, the show must. go And I'm like fucking yelling, the show must go it's on. True, it's what are true. you doing? Blah, blah, blah. And then he like tries to leave and then ends up falling down all these stairs oh, so it's just like, so brutal like it's not funny it's just awkward. weird and then awkward? chloe's like oh you know and she like something's happening the time, time travel time traveling ha 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 and then they just sing and do yeah. their thing but like 
again up to this up to this moment everything was like so cheesy and so like whatever like why would you not why would you stop yeah and, like, that was a perfect moment to yeah. make it like Something you know, funny yeah, happened. Exactly. And or like instead, a, coming, like, in, oh, I, you know, this is what I really love. I yeah. love being on stage. But yeah. yeah. Which, I okay, think he also he has hates, he hates Broadway, right? But so he hates Broadway this from his like, own perspective. Yeah. But you don't so find out until sing. later. And then also okay. the dancer's like, I know you. He's like, oh, no, you don't. You don't know who I am. He's like, I know you from somewhere. What do I know you? Blah, blah, blah. You are in Brazilla or something. Eventually, yes. So it turned out he was in a show that closed an opening night or something. Yeah. That's the, whoa. Yeah. So I guess I can understand at that point he still doesn't want to be on stage, yeah. but like you're the production manager, get some shit, like do something yeah. instead of being awkward. That was so because like the band just stops all the time. Yeah, like, like anytime why does something happens, want... they just stop. I was like, I if I was the band guys, I'd be keep playing, yeah. keep it going. Like you know. But yeah. anyways, I digress. I don't, yeah. I don't work on Broadway, so maybe awkwardness. So like, uh, and then of course like. Chloe comes off stage and she's like, "Why? Why are you trying to sabotage yeah, my girl?" So she yeah. keeps thinking that he's yeah, trying she's to doing fuck it on it purpose to piss yeah. her off. Yeah, and you know that then he's then, like, "No, that's not what happened." She's like, whatever. whatever his name is. Yes, then Goldmire makes a funny a ninety eight degrees joke. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's out here like fucking Nicholas. <laughs> <Shane." laughs> <You're like, "Yeah!" laughs> that was, that was good too. So yeah. good. It was so good. Yeah. Uh, and then I put Nick and Shane joke, laugh my ass off. Yeah, I and then there is a there is an awkward joke about how J C had sex with Ryan Gosling's mom. Oh, oh, he's yes. like, I had sex with all the Mickey Mouse Club. No, someone else is saying this. He's that like, he got to all the Mickey Mouse Club girls first. before, like, Anybody. Brittany, Christina. Carrie Russell, Russell Ryan Gosling's, Gosling's mom. mom. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, what? It was like, that was, like, wild. Uh, did you? Uh, Which, she's, basically from, she's from the Hamilton area. They go to that Mormon church. Ryan Gosling does? Mom. The mom. She was from London, Ontario, I think. And then oh. Tia, Gino's ex-wife's. Uh-huh goes to church with his mom and you're just telling me this now ryan gosling could have been any of our husbands yeah jackass yeah i don't think so anyways, okay I digress. anyways uh okay so then um then jc does a bye 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 joke like yes because then she... oh cause then he knocks to the door right because yes in the room. so then this at this point nick goes because then she says when she gets pissed off about him trying to upstage, him trying to upstage her. her. She's like, I am gonna go to JC's room, and I might go. He invited me to go to some the Hamptons, the Hamptons or weekend. something, and I might go there too, and blah blah blah. And then this is when he's talking to the guy about, and then they're like, Oh yes, JC's fucked everyone, blah blah blah. <laughs> and then so then he decides he has to go there to stop them from having sex. And then, but he doesn't have a plan, so he just knocks on the door, and it's incredibly awkward. And he's like, "I just came to, to see make sure you about... have the right cue for the next thing." And he's and like, "Yeah, I do." Thanks. He's like, "Yeah, it's blah blah blah." He's like, "Cool." And he's like, "Is that it?" And yeah. He's like, yeah. And then he goes, "Okay, bye bye bye." bye, bye. bye. Yeah. And then he closes the door and he goes, <laughs> "Bye bye." <laughs> <laughs> so then, so I don't like no offense to JC's sexual prowess. Yeah. But the intermission is only 15 minutes long. I know. It's just like, how are you planning They're to have sex this clothes. quickly? They have all this stuff. like. So then he like, and I guess she, normally maybe people just rip off their clothes and have sex with JC. I, I, I don't, don't know, know Broadway, but I feel like there's not a whole lot of time. I was just like, you're probably changing outfits at this point. Like you're getting Take ready for sex. Yeah, drinking something, you know, getting ready to go on for the next thing. Meanwhile, interspersed drug guy keeps asking for various things. And he keeps he like, can't find he's like, so I heard there was some ecstasy somewhere. And then they're like, are you holding? Like, blah, blah. So like, and he gets a bunch of like, so then he gets up. like, like a spray pan and like, you know, like the spray Compressed pan. Compressed air, whatever. So like, what, so, oh my, that was so duct weird. Tape. At this point, so I'm thinking, okay, he's just trying to get high. And then yeah. Diane's like, oh, he's, <laughs> he's going to kill himself. And I was like, I did not. Get that from that. No, I was well, so confused. The movie was taking a weird, dark turn. Yeah. I didn't know what was gonna happen. I'm like, I don't. I thought he was just gonna make his own concoction. I thought like, so. Oh, I yes, thought he, so too. Yeah. He's gonna kill himself, and I was like, oh, I guess it is. Like, yeah, this movie is. He's very depressed and stressed. I thought he was gonna sniff glue. That was like, uh, yeah, because he that. also had glue and he had other stuff. Yeah, right? it just all happened. He just to be needed on a high. He just needed a high because he doesn't know how to play bass unless, unless he's, he's high, high. Because no yes. bass players know how to play bass. Yeah, it was so dumb. It was bizarre. Was. Um, so during the seduction scene, oh uh, god, that was J- so JC tries to seduce her with uh, playing "She's Like the Wind." Yes, <laughs> yes JC um, serenades Chloe with a very slow, like weird guitar version. version. She just... seems to like it, and uh, no, she doesn't. No. She laughs. You. She's like, she seems to like it. Me? Yes. She's like, the, I was just like, this is awkward and weird. Because it was like a very slow. I don't know. Like it's when not she, one of my favorite Dirty Dancing songs. 
Well, because I think it's like, like to me, I'm like, she's, she's breaking wind. And I'm just like, that's not sexy at all. She's out of my league. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> so anyways. anyways. And then so they like have a heart to heart. Yeah, he, like, he's then, surrounded by all his own NSYNC merch. It's hilarious. He has a cardboard cutout of him wearing like a muscles <laughs> and abs yeah. and stuff. He has all sorts of stuff. So he finishes this song and like looks at her sexily and then she laughs at him and was like, and she's like Does this work for you? Like, he's like, Yes, it always works for me. What are you talking this about? It works 100% of the time. What's wrong like, with not you anymore? And then she's like, You're a bit nutso. And he's like, you're cheesy and ridiculous, and then and then then she's randomly giving him tips on how to not be a cornball. Yeah, yes. and then he's just Again. like, yeah. I don't think Jason totally really cares. He can literally sleep with anybody outside and the, the door. Point is, th- th- up to this point, like in the first half of the movie, she would have been like, Ugh, and like left, or there would have been like an awkward exchange. Where he was like, call me later, yeah. like something. She- Instead, it's like they have a heart to heart about like in this fifteen minute intermission, stop being such a sex hound and be genuine and like. Yeah. Like, what? Because then he like feeds her some sort of line about. I'm the other her. guy from Insync. Mm-hmm. That's the. Line. Then he gets like super depressed and like whatever, yeah. and then she was all like, "Okay, that's there was three things that he had to do. So there was this cheese thing. Yeah, he needs to stop with that, whatever. And then he gets like super like depressing realist about how like how hard it is to be the other guy of Insync. Yeah, like, and is this like, a movie? And we're like, is he still <laughs> poking fun at himself, or is this real life? Like now I start feeling bad for JC. And I'm just like... This but this is what I mean about the movie. Like, the, it, it's not in fitting with the first half. Yeah, it gets weird. Do you have any more from the JC thing? I'm sorry. Did I, uh, I put, Nick seems jealous that JC and Chloe were talking in the room. Tries to find out what it was. Uh, Chloe and JC have another performance together. Yeah. Okay, but I think there like, was, it's like a long oh, Yeah, yeah it's really There's, there's also a Godma suspense joke. Yeah. Ah, yes. Oh, it's too much. Like, as an instinct fan, you should be looking at me, telling me that God must have spent a little more time on you. Not like, you get it? It's, I hate when he said it. I'm like, oh. Like, yeah, like, yeah, we get it. <laughs> <laughs> like, but yeah, no, I don't know. It was it was weird and slightly depressing at that point. And yeah. I was just And then at this point And at this point, JC's been a horn dog the entire time, so why does he actually care if he sleeps with Colo Chloe? Like he had already slept with her anyways. Yeah. And he was like so I'm like, does he actually see some sort of relationship with Chloe just because she sang really well? Like I don't know. Yeah. And then Okay, then there's, I think the next thing is a weird scene where Malcolm and the tit girl are trying yes, to Yes, the Xavier choose. seduction number. Oh my yeah. god, have a dance-off so the yeah. guy the can tits. choose between them. Sorry, yeah. before that, Sorry. earlier on, she's like, I need you to help me take off my bra or quick change. And he's like, are you stuck? She's like, no, no, just undo my bra. She's like, feel my tits. And he's like, that feels like a lump. And you're like, oh, you, you might have breast cancer. cancer. Yeah. What? Oh, oh my god. god. And it was just like this random breast yeah, that cancer was thing. Weird. And then she's like, oh my god, do I have breast cancer? And then she's like, and then later on, she's like, it's just a benign whatever. I'm like, when would you have time, you have time? to test your tit to see if that was? She's like, I've never felt this before. Like, what the fuck? And I'm like, okay. And she's like, that's not funny. No. Like, up to now, like, all the jokes were kind of funny. Like, there was... <laughs> The lady who was three days pregnant and keeps oh, saying I can't do anything because she's three day, weeks pregnant. Yeah. And then three, three days pregnant. Three, three, days, days, yeah. three days. Three days. Three days. Like and then, last <laughs> week we were fucking having what is coke. It, cocaine she was though? inviting them all to do coke in the bathroom of whatever. Yeah. yeah. And he's oh like, God. "That's when you got pregnant." Like it was just. Yeah. Like, she's like, "I can't lift things because you know the baby." He's like, "You're three days pregnant." And then I think it's around this point everything's falling apart. Obviously. Mm. And the Alex girl like freaks out and she's like, listen, I'm a Republican and, you know, whatever, I'm pro-choice, but I will abort that baby from your uterus right now. Like, I was like, what? <laughs> she like, oh my God. God. The she lost it, but it was Nick good. had disappeared at some point. Yeah. Everything was coming down yeah, to her yeah. and she just like lost it on everyone. It was like, ah, nah. like it was yeah. pretty funny. Yeah. So that was, was like kind of funny. Like those kind of things, like this is what's happening. But like then there's this weird breast cancer joke, but it's not really a joke, and then it's like serious, and then it, it, yeah. there's no follow-up to it. And oh, like, the follow-up was she wasn't cancer. Huh? Yeah, but, like, but she so wouldn't have known that within ten minutes. No, yeah. I know. Like, it's like, I mean, what, is there like a walk-in breast clinic? It's like, <laughs> all right, here's your result. Maybe like, the weird doctor <laughs> medic guy. It's like, yeah, your tits feel good. Like, I don't know. But anyways, so there's this like dance-off, and she's singing a song that I don't know. 
But the boys are singing another song that I do know, and I feel like that gave it an unfair advantage because I knew the boys' song and not the girls' song. Now the girl's song is an actual song. No, like, I, I know feel it was like an I song. recognize both songs. Yeah, yeah. now I can't remember what either of them are. I like. Bo- I, I know what boys like or something. Boys I know like. What, yeah, yeah, I know what boys like. Yeah, and then there's. I can't what was the other what the boys one? were singing, but they were saying, "I'm like, I know this song." And uh, then yeah, they're yeah, like, yeah, "You I need to decide either. right now which of the two of us you were going to sleep with." And then they like, "Can I choose both? Can I do this later?" And they're like, "No, right now." I'm like, "The play is happening." I know. Why are you people not so in costume? So they don't so care then at he all. Decides yeah. he's going to sleep with Malcolm, <laughs> the, and then the she's dude. like, "Uh." And then and then uh, I think Topher Grace comes by. I'm like, "What the fuck? You're supposed to be on stage in 30 seconds. Why are none of you in costume?" Oh, oh the costumes. Yeah. yeah. So like, and then yeah. So then then again super like he's outside and he's depressed and he's gonna quit and he's leaving right now and then chloe goes out there and she like yells at him and she's like oh it's not my fault that you're like a failure and like blah 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 and i'm like what what happened to like literally like i'm like what is happening yeah why is this movie suddenly so serious yeah and why is he leaving in the middle of the production like what i know are you doing? just like, dumb um, oh i think that's also when the xavier guy says that he recognizes him from that show yeah um, and that's kind of like the final the triggering moment of yeah. like oh, i'm leaving this place are good yeah. yeah um and then at this point um brooke is having a sad washed up moment yes in her oh room. yes and she's like enjoy Tonight, because you're gonna have this role for Irish. Like, no, you'll be back tomorrow. No, I won't. I was a young ingenue once, and I'm like, ah, oh, it's true. Again, so yeah, like she's supposed to be. It's supposed to be like a ha. Like it started off with this ha ha, yuck it up. She's high, la la la. And now it's when she's like, oh, it's me. I'm depressed. I'm this. I'm, I'm old. Like, I'm you know, it's washed, washed up. Washed up. It's like remember <laughs> this night because this is the best night of your life, and that's <laughs> and then it's all downhill from here, right? <laughs> Just like, like it super nice. sad and kind of true, right? But like. And then, um, and then the the Mister Goldstein is like, "Oh yeah, I'm firing her tomorrow, right?" And then that's when Chloe's like, oh, "I'm going to leave the show." So she also decides she's quitting. Yeah, and like changes, and they're like, they're like, "Curtain call in ten minutes," and then everyone, I'm just like, "What the hell is happening in this time?" So turns out JC and the backup dancers are still on stage. Just I guess her part was done because it was like, now it's the grave of the future, and you know. You're only here lies Baz, a one hit wonder. She's like, but you're making your own destiny. And you've put this up in your head, but you're still on a path. You can write a new song. Yeah. You cannot be a one hit wonder. Yeah. You can live your life. So it's like all that inspirational bullshit, whatever, anything like that. So anyway, so inspirational it's bullshit. So whatever. So then she leaves and then she just changes into her gray t shirt like he has. And then yeah. So then she's like sneaking out and he's like, What are you doing? You can't you're leave not gonna before curtain call. Yeah. Um, and She's then quitting the show. I'm like, okay, sure. And then, uh, and then the 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 gay man and the big tit lady have like a heart to heart. And then he's like, hey, listen, I knew he was gay the whole time. And She's, She's like, what? Bi. And he wasn't bi, he was gay. And she's like, what do you mean? He's, and she, he says, he's Nathan Lane fellatioing Neil Patrick Harris at the Tony's game. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, that was good. Oh, that was good. That was that was good. That was good. Okay. That's, that's, but that's then he's gay. like, don't worry, we discussed this. So we have this proposition. We would like to have a threesome with you. Is that what that was about? Yes. yes. I thought like she was joining their club or something. No. I was confused. No, no, okay. no. They were going to all have sex together, even though the two guys are two gay men. I thought he meant with her boyfriend. Because the boyfriend was straight, but then he had sex with Malcolm. No, Malcolm is inviting him to sleep, her to sleep with the dancer in him. Okay. Uh, because because, because he won she? the contest. Why would two gay like, men so want to sleep with a woman? That like, sucks, man. I'm like, neither of these two gay... I'm like, okay, whatever. I don't know. So, yeah. So, they have... So, they made up. She's like, okay. I'm like... That was weird. Well, I'm like, okay, yeah. sure. Whatever. Yeah. Uh, did I miss anything? Um, I put Nick and Chloe have another chat. Why did you end it? She asks. Chloe tells Nick she still loves him. He says, I do. She sings to him and she starts oh, yes. weirdly crying. I'm like, okay. She's like, you just need to tell me that you love me. And he's like, yeah, I do. And she's like, but you literally didn't even say it. And then, like, yes. walks away. And then, Nick, and then Nick doesn't know what to do. Do I sing back to you? I thought that yeah, was funny. I was like, like okay. I don't know what you want right now. Am I supposed to be singing? Is this the part where she's like, I was happiest when we were, like, eating pizza, like, after yes. a show? Yes. I mean, that was Going so to karaoke yes. and stuff like that. I like they that. had dated for four years. Yeah, which yeah. and then she wanted to move in. And he's like, oh, that's too fast. It's like, he's four like, years? Is at this point, you're like too fast. You're like, okay, whatever. And then she vi- finally reveals they've been together for four years. You're like, how much slower could you go? Or yeah, so she quits go the show because yes. of Nick. 
Yes. So then she's like, okay, I'm just going to say bye to everybody. He's like, curtain call, blah, blah, blah. So he's like, whatever. So then she's like leaving and saying bye to people, and you know, who are in the right. middle of a play. Right. It's very confusing. Oh, and then this. Malcolm and Nick have a heart to heart. Mousy lady gets her voice at this yes. point. Oh, okay. So okay. that's when she yells at everybody. Yeah. And then, and then, yeah, there's the whole, take another shot. You're only a one-hit wonder until your next hit. But I guess, I don't know if that was like a... Because, like, she was out of character at this point, so I don't know how she got back no, in. No, I don't no, think that, that was, was her. Before. That was a different person. Oh, was it? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then there's this note, uh, you fucked up so much, there's nothing left to fuck up. Mm-hmm. I think that's the heart to heart with yes. the mm-hmm. guy. With Malcolm and Nick. Yes. Okay. And then Nick throws down, like, the headset, and mm-hmm. then goes on the stage... And he's, yeah, he goes on stage to sing a song to win back the lady. Yes. He is but not, but in she's costume, not even there. Just in his regular clothes. His yeah, it's and stuff. so weird. And, and he's not even guess, 100% sure that she's still in the building. That's I the guess that's part. being himself. He's ready and now again, finally to sing. Similar as to when he popped up in the elevator, everyone stops. Like, they don't just yeah. keep going and act like, oh, we don't know why this guy's here. Every fucking thing stops. Yeah, and really then weird. he starts singing. Oh, God. Was the song? It was awful. He's not a but singer. But he started really slow. But he's trying. Remember. It's like like sing talking. I don't yeah. know. Was it hooked on a feeling? I forgot that song. No, it wasn't. No, no. I forgot what it was. It was called. something. It's like song you know. Dramatic. It's yeah. from the eighties. I don't remember. It's a yeah. Good. So he starts singing this, and then shockingly, she's still like in the building. So then she like comes down the aisle. And then he sees her, and then he goes towards her. I don't know if do they meet in the aisle. Like here. Yes. Yes. And it's just like, oh, and everyone's like, oh, yes. But oh, you're wrote, guaranteed oh. to have this canceled at opening night if you fuck up this much, you dumbass. Okay, well, this is my whole my point. My thought was. So they yeah. meet up in the aisle, they're whatever, they kiss, uh, you know, whatever. And that's the end yeah. of the movie. It sucks. It just abruptly cuts off. So. You don't know what happens with the show, which is the whole point. Yes. Is he fired? Is he, like, he really, he literally fucked up the entire thing. Yeah. But he got the girl. And, like, and he's and like, this it's... show's about me. You're like, okay, if that's your interpretation, <laughs> yeah. my friend. You know, the show's about me too. Like, what the hell? But my thought is, is do the people in the audience know that this is part of the show or not part of the show? No! Because no, if they think they this know. is just part of the show, then they're like, oh yes, the ending happens, whatever. Then they go to, so is he going to have to recreate that part every night? Or is it just going to have the regular ending? Should have or the regular ending. Or is it ending. like, and then people are like, it was just hell? a one night off. I'm going to assume it's canceled because yeah. it got ruined so many times. Yes. But like, mm-hmm. I really like going to see plays though. Me too. I would go. I that's not know. the point. The I, ending is yeah. so dumb. It's so I don't know. I, I thought it because it's there. And Sorry. they were just like, okay, it fades to black. We're like, okay, you know, usually they're like, oh, this happens. No, there's just, there's nothing. Now you like text, you know. Rolling. They do. The, the bloopers at the end were pretty they, funny. In the end, and in the credits, they have like some things which seemed like they were possibly part of the movie, but then sometimes they're just like the the bloopers. bloopers. We yeah. saw the JC sex scene that I was waiting for. <laughs> the JC sex scene. Yes, he had sex with Brooke. Yes, and then the guy, the Brooke's oh, fan, was like, and the fans like, oh! "Good job, you guys did great." And we were like, oh, that was funny. That was what funny. the fuck is happening? Yeah, here? and then just... uh, and then the bloopers were cute, and then yeah. and then during the credits, it rolls. Sex you gently. Mm. The song. Yes. The song. Yeah. Did, you, did I miss anything? No, that's that's basically it. Yeah, I, I put. You're right, Diane. Now that you say it, it kind of sounds. It almost was like two halves of a thing. Like yeah, more like can't be fun and then depressing and then abruptly then. Yeah, yeah. It's like they know. ran out of money making the rest of the play or something, <laughs> or it was just like or like yeah, someone wrote, wrote the, the first with. half and then someone else wrote the second half. Yeah, yeah, and then. They were like, oh, how are we going to end this? I don't know. So they just didn't. Yeah. They were like, you know, at the end when the, the main characters fall back in love? Cool. And then let's just end it. Like, because if you're going to do that, then you have that song. You know you make me want to shout. And yeah. then you have that scrolling text. And then you have text. everybody's there. Or, like, yeah, exactly. Or it's like, even like, if it was like, 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 call. And or like, you like, know, like something stupid, right? So everyone's like, you don't even have to. You can do that. Or yeah. you can do like they kiss. Everyone cheers, and then it's like you have a brief 30 second scene of like months Every- later where like they're still doing the show. And yeah. like, or like a newspaper know, clipping, yeah, like greatest yeah. show of all time. Yeah. Yeah. It's not, but yeah, something. Yes. Yeah, you're right. It, yeah. it was very abrupt. And you don't know how, like, 
No closure. No closure on so many of these things that were brought up. The fucking drug guy's like spazzing out. Yeah. And the thing, he ends up making this concoction in a water bottle where he puts all this stuff and he's like, puts a face mask on and he's trying to like get high and stuff. And you're like, it was just. All insane. And you just see him seizing. Like, does he die? Like, I don't yeah. know. Like, there's no, there's so many storylines that there's no closure to. Closure to, aside from the fact that they get back together. What to do? Did Maybe they, they just have to think about what you think the other characters are no, going to do. No, but I don't like that. No, yeah. I'm just saying. Maybe because this is why it's open ended, and lazy. this is your uh, because this, ending because you want the two characters. I agree. To go back yeah, to but this is not like one of those movies that's going to have a sequel. Never. Yes. They don't want to give it away or whatever. This is why everything should be tied up at the end. Correct. Yes. And if it's a show and there's going to be another season, I understand that you want to leave some things open. But, like, this is a movie. Yes. When I watch a movie, I w- I need all storylines to be wrapped up bow. in the end. Okay? And if you want it to be an Oscar winner, kill someone, for God's sake. Kill someone. <laughs> you know? Uh, Mammy died. Yes. <laughs> I, but we don't even see Mammy. We don't even know. And, and Marva said, I'm pretty sure, is like a full monkey. How do you no, have? I said it was God, a rodent. I thought it was like a hey, ferret say, type thing. Yeah, I'm sorry, I thought it was a marmoset. What is a marmoset? Okay. Marmoset is like the one Guys, with the pink it's cheeks. It's been one hour and fifteen minutes. Okay, sorry. There's this thing. What the fuck is that? Some valid okay. points. Anyway, I'm just saying. Yes. How would you have ended it? How would? I don't know, but I'm just saying I want closure on more things. I don't like abrupt endings. Like, like I literally was like, it's over. Like. You know what would have been okay? What would have been a really good ending, in my opinion? Okay, have you ever seen like the dream? Yeah, have you ever seen like Shia LaBeouf like alone in the theater just clapping? Have you seen that meme before? Yes, yes, sure. If like if like Justin Timberlake was like clapping in the <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Or, like, and or like, and having Chris do some sort of character and that was so in fitting with the first half of the movie, which was cheesy and fun. Yeah, like, I chose. So Maybe it's like an edited version. And I don't know. I don't want to see the director's cut. <laughs> oh, Christ. That's like three hours long. I'm like, nah, 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 nah. It's not that long of a movie. No, it's only it's like, like an, an hour, hour and a half. No, movie, I know. 40 minutes. Yeah. But like, anyways. In but yes, I agree that it should add Hour more. and 30 minutes, guys. You know what, though? I, let's let's compare it to... Sorry, you were going to say something. No, no, no. I just said like, those are, agree with the points. I'm just saying that's probably why they wanted you to think about it. Okay, so I was just going to say, we've reviewed a few boy bandy movies during our time here. Um, and as much as we love our boy banders, they're not the greatest movies. Don't quit your day Right? Time. So, um, this is a thousand times better than Vampire Birds. Oh, Serenade. thank God. Oh, yes. yes. Like, although there's, say like, that's not saying element, much either. At least there's not, like, random cocaine. And there was cocaine. Lo- I yes, would say but... this is better than all of them except maybe Longshot. Even on the no, line? No, I think that one is oh, better than Longshot long too. Not Longshot, on the line. Oh, Longshot okay. is okay. Yeah, sorry. 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. I just I got like, those two confused. Longshot is the worst <laughs> one. No. No. So I would say it's like on the line, opening night, and then I don't even know, a whole but, bunch of So this is more a professional movie, right? Because on the line was also a professional mm-hmm. rom-com type movie. Like Hollywood-ish. So, yeah, so yeah. Like, yeah. I don't know. I have no idea. But if you guys have any other boy band movies that you would like us to look into, we'd be more than happy to check it out. And apologies to people who really like this movie. I didn't think it was terrible. I thought it was okay. Shenzia, you can lick Jaycee's shoe and say it tastes like licorice. Like Why I'm, would I lick his I'm just shoe? saying, like you're like, <laughs> you're ah, I'm, I'm happy that he's in anything. And that's what I said. And as I said, that's the most I've ever heard JC talk in the that's entire true. time. That's and true. I feel like because we haven't really seen him out in public or doing anything in the last decade, I guess, it's yeah. nice to at least see him in something. Mm-hmm. So I think that's kind of a thing. And I definitely like JC more than I like Justin Timberlake. Um, oh. So that's on multiple different reasons of things, but. I think I'm you're watching see- this on video, I apologize for Chinzia's rude behavior. <laughs> kidding i'm just um yeah okay this is like this is really dumb and this is some psychological stuff but i feel like back in high school jc was off limits because he was olivia olivia's yes so i'm just like so so like even now i'm a 30 plus person and i'm just like 
oh my god, what's Olivia going to think if I say JC's cute? I'm pretty sure Olivia doesn't even know this movie exists. No, <laughs> probably not. Yeah, probably not. So, and yes, I did have a little animosity towards JC because I Drive Myself Crazy is the only song that Chris has a, a solo of a minute long. And the Australian version, JC sings the entire thing. And I'm just like, and Olivia's like, this is the best version. Blah, blah, blah. We're like, screw <laughs> you. Chris doesn't get any solos. We can't have JC taking over. Um, But I like JC's about, voice. How uh, about Lion Sleeps thing. Tonight? Hello? Okay. <laughs> Why do you like that song? I, like I that love song. it. I, I love it. That's like the only Chris song. I'm like, yes, hit it, yes. Uh, Chris has his own song. It's called My Shiny Teeth. My Shiny Teeth and Me Shiny oh, Teeth, Shiny Teeth. Yeah, yeah, you're right. That's Chip Skylark. Okay. Oh, never mind. Um, anyways, what, um, um, overall, you guys liked it? No. <laughs> I'm give it maybe like, um, out, of but... ten, out of ten, what would you guys give it? Like a six, four? 5.5. I feel like there was a lot going on, so if I rewatched it, I might five. catch up some additional Four. jokes or things. If the whole movie was like the first half, I would have rated it higher. Yeah, it's like, yeah, they, they did like, it either should have been all camp, all drama, but they did like some half-ass thing. Or at least yeah. mix it better. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, you know... Dead Seven, for example, tried to be like really cheesy, mm-hmm. sort of in a Sharknado vein. They failed. Um, <laughs> because, Is it because they didn't have drama? No, it's Is because it the point. Zombies. The point of a Sharknado, and we really need to wrap it up. The point of that is that it's so bad that it loops around to being good again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I feel like Dead Seven didn't Did- try hard enough to be bad. Like, they were t- taking it a bit too seriously. Well, Howie tried his best, I feel. Howie. With his many accents. His ever-changing accents. Yes. Yes. And, uh, um, and Joey Fatone was really good, but Joey's been in That's actual AJ movies. was good in it, yeah. I mean, we you can listen to our review on Yes, Dead 7. go check that out. That was last year. But, like, time. it's just there was too many people taking it too seriously, and then it was just, it wasn't Because Jeff funny. Timmons was playing it very serious and not Even too Nick many. was. Yes, that too. Um, so, whatever. Anyways, that's that. Any final words? Great. All right. Thanks for taking a break with us, guys. Until next time. Thanks for listening. Bye. Bye!